Hello guys, welcome back. This is the second part of Quick Starter Guide of Blank Chain. If you just landed to this video, I recommend you to watch the previous one because this is the continuation of the previous one. In the first uh, Quick Starter Guide, uh, we went through building a language model application with LLMs. But in this video, we will be going through building a language model application with chat models. So in the beginning, I will explain you why is the need of chat models and I will show you what is the difference between LLMs and as well as chat models and then we will go through the code. Let's get started. What is chat models? As it is said here, you can use chat models instead of LLMs, meaning that the chat models are a variation of language models while chat models use large language models under the hood, right? But instead of me going through all the things in this documentation, instead of me explaining all the things, let's ask the chat feature, right? In the line chain, there is already a chat feature being integrated. If you click this icon on the bottom right corner, it opens a chat feature. I have already asked the question, but what is this is, this is a chat feature where we can integrate with the particular document in line chain. Uh, just to show you, it, it is not for the random things, but it works uh, because this is the large language model. I asked, so what is carrot? And it's a sorry, I couldn't find any information in the documentation about that. Expect answer to be less accurate and then it provides the answer. But you get the idea. This is implemented. The main focus is to get the information from the, from the documentation itself. And I asked here, what is the difference between the large language models and chat models? explain for a 15 year old this is how you can interact with the chat models or chat so that it gives the very easy answer right so it says here that llms and chat models are both types of models used in lang chain but they have different purposes llms or large language models take a text string as input and return a text string as output this is what we went through the first video right but they are used for tasks like language translation and text generation. But chat models, on the other hand, are designed specifically for conversational interfaces. So they take in chat messages as input and output the chat messages. It also provided the verified resources or sources that is all from the LangChain documentation. And I just ask here now explain the same thing for a developer that it also explains the same thing but little bit more advanced. You can go through and play around this, but why I'm explaining this is because the documentation can be quite lengthy. And if you want to know something quickly, you can just use the chat feature so that it condenses all the information in that web page or documentation. So now let's move to the output part. As in the previous video, all the components are almost the same. So I will just walk you through that, right? First, we need to install the packages. So you can run the command and we need open AI because LangChain does not do itself, right? We need to integrate this with one or more model providers. So I'm using open AI for this case. If you don't have already the account, please go through this link and create the account. It is not free, but in the first time they may provide you some free credits. And then you need to provide the API key in this format, just replace this string here and you are good to go now let's go with the first one get message completions from a chat model what we can do is we can import different class from langchain so in the beginning i have here langchain.chat models i import chat chat open ai and then from lang langchain.schema i'm importing ai message human message and system message so there are different types of messages that, that are currently supported in LangChain, but mostly we will be using the human AI and system messages. So I can just run this command. And now what I can do is provide some content into that chat. So here I am just initializing the object. So here I'm passing translate this sentence from English to Nepali. I love programming, right? So if I run this, it must give me the output translating that particular word to Nepali, right? So let's see. Yeah, okay, it gives Malay programming one person. So that is how it works. As I said before, we can pass multiple messages also. So system message and human message. And if you run this command, it must give the same output. But just to demonstrate that it also takes the system message and you can give like, okay, you are a helpful assistant that translates English to Nepali or all the different things. So based on the system message, you can restrict the 
chatter to to output what you want and the good part here is that you can go one step further and generate completions for multiple set of messages using the generate module so here is batch messages it's the same thing as before i provided two different messages and i'm passing that into the chat object and i with the generate module right so if i run this it will produce the same thing first it will translate the i love programming to nepalese and then i love artificial intelligence to nepalese so why i am using nepalese because i'm nepalese and i speak nepalese so i just want to see how it outputs so here it says malai programming man parcha that's fine and this is malai kritim buddhimatha man parcha okay that's fine so you see the idea how it translates and the good part here with the chat models is that from the output we get we can even extract the specific things like token uses it's already being printed here but with the result this is what we output right result.llm underscore output and we can pass what we want to extract so if i run this it will provide the token uses for us so prompt token is 77 completion token is 54 and the total and the total tokens is 131 so this is how we can go through this the next is the chat prompt template so instead of hard coding the text we want to ask we can actually provide similar to llms we can use the templating by using the message prompt template so what we can do here first i import the necessary class and i initialize the class here then i create a template here as before i said you are a helpful assistant that translates and now i am passing the input variable here so and then to an output variable i provide the system message prompt here i said system message prompt template dot from template i pass that particular template similar to this i create a human template and there is a string i need to pass and human message prompt template dot from template i pass that particular human template with these two templates being created we can now create the chat prompt template and from messages and we can pass the two system and human template this is quite straight forward like but you have the system message and then you have the human message and you pass that into the chat prompt template and when you pass this and now we we need to get our chat completion from the formatted messages right so what we can do here we can just say chat prompt dot format prompt and input language so what is the input language we want to provide you can provide anything from here i am providing english so this english will go into this input language and the output language is nepali it will go to this output language and i love programming it the text right it will go in the human template text and i just says two messages and if i run this shell it will do the same thing that i did in the first place but here we are not hard coding right we are just using the prompts now let's go with the chains and chat models right so in real application we need to chain different components together right similar to what we did in the llms in the previous video extending the previous example we can construct an llm chain which takes user input formats it with a prompt template and then passes the formatted responses to the last language model that is what the chains does right we can combine different chains or we have the prompt or the model and all these things we can chain together as in the previous example we are just importing the necessary class here and then all the things are same until this part but now there is the part of the chain here we have the chain and we have llm chain and we provide the uh, first input as llm equals to chat that is the model and there is the prompt the chat prompt and then we are just running the prompt passing the english as it goes to the input language and nepali goes to the output language and i love programming goes to the uh, text as before and then if we run this it will provide the answer so you get the idea we did well, the first and second step are now combined together in this third step using the chains okay now comes the interesting part agents and chart models here so far what we did was we run the chains in a predetermined order right but agents can also be used with chart models you can initialize one using the agent type so here we are going to use the chart zero short react description as the agent type So as I said in the previous video, also in agents there are actually three crucial parts: there is tool, there is chain models, and there is the agents. 
so if you don't if you want to know more you can go through this link but i will create a separate video all with these topics only but in this video what i'm going to do is going to do a google search so we need to have an api key right so you can go through this sharpapi.com you can create account and have the api key and you can pass in this string here i have already done this so now i'll go to the implementation part so here is all the class that i'm importing from here first i am just loading the language model and then here is the open ai model itself so the large language model we need to pass there and then there is the tools so we have to have the load tools and you see how it is also chaining here but first we pass the sort api and then we have the llm math to do some mathematics for all also and then we pass the large language model so finally let's initialize an agent with the tools the language model and the type of agent we want to use right so here is the agent we initialize the agent there is the tools we created here and there is the chat we initialized here and there is the agent right as i said before we are using the chat zero short reaction description in this case and what was equals to true because we want to see what it is going behind the scene and here i am passing two questions actually who is the president of finland so it needs to do the google search and here is the second question following what is 2 plus 2 meaning that it needs to do some mathematics also right so now if i run this shell let's see the output here it is saying here that entering new agent executor chain i haven't shown here what to do right it is going to do by itself here it says the question who is the president of finland what is 2 plus 2 third process is going here the first question requires a source while the second question requires the calculator you see the how it is doing itself and there here it says the action is source action input is president of finland and it did the source and it finds that okay president is saul in Inisto. and for the second query i need to use the calculator tool action is calculator action input is two plus two you get the idea here and it says the answer is four and it provides the final answer saul in Inisto and four so you get how we can integrate the chart models and do the google source by the way, if you are using ChatGPT, you get the idea here that in the free version, although now there are plugins which does the Google source and all different kind of things, but in the free version, it still it does not do the things right. But here in few lines of code, we can do a Google source. We can do some mathematics and all these things very easily with LangChain. Now comes the memory part. Add state to the chains and agent. So far, what we did was the chains and the agents we are going through were stateless, right? But you can use the memory with chains and agents to initialize the chat models. The main difference between this and memory for LLMs is that rather than trying to condense all the previous messages into a string, we can keep them as their own unique memory object. The first part, we are just importing all the necessary classes from the LangChain. And here we create a prompt, right? So chat prompt template that from messages and here as the as previous system message and human, right? There is some of the things called system message now. The following is a friendly conversation and all these things you can pass for the chat model. And there is the history and there is the input, right? And then as you see here, we are passing the history, right? So here message placeholder is the history and human message is the input, of course. And here we have just the large language model. We are using chat open AI, of course. And there is the memory part where we are saying the conversation buffer memory. And what we are saying here, return message equals to true. And the conversation itself is conversation chain. And now you see the main thing here. There is a chain, but with the conversation chain, right? So we are passing the memory as we just initialize here. We are passing the prompt as we initialize here and we are passing the last language model so you see we are passing three different chains together and now we can say conversation dot predict and we give the we give the input there hi there let's run this shell hello how can i assist you today so it gives the message right so now if i run the next one i'm doing well uh, this is the random question right just having a conversation with an ai so now you will see that i'm not passing anything but if you noticed in the earlier video or earlier part of quick starter guide 
it was taking the message together and condensing it together, right? But here, it is just providing some message. And now I said, I'm doing well. And now it says, that sounds like fun. I'm happy to chat with you. Is there anything specific you would like to talk about? So this is kind of a chat, right? What we can go in the chat mode, chat, uh, chat bot or something like that. And I said, here, tell me about yourself. And it will go and tell me what it is. So you see that we are kind of having a conversation with human in a way, right? But with the chatbot and it knows all the things. Sure, I am an AI assistant. I am AI language model created by OpenAI. Okay, because we are using the OpenAI. You get the idea. So this is how quickly we can build one layer after another using Langchain. I don't think that it was that easy before. And so far, so good. This is the quick starter guide. But before I complete this video, I will show you what is the conclusion now, right? So the decision to use a chat model or an LLM, right, depends on the specific task you are trying to accomplish. Chat models are designed to have structured conversations with humans. They would be useful for tasks like creating chatbots or customer service agents or something like that, right? On the other hand, LLMs are more general language models that can be used for a wide range of tasks such as language translation, text generation, summarization and all these things. So the main thing you need to notice here is in general, if the task involves interacting with humans in a conversation way, a chat model would be the better choice, right? But if the task involves generating or processing the large amount of text, and LLM would be the more appropriate. In the future videos, I'm going to create a simple PDF summarizer with few lines of code. That would be really fun to do. And yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoy and you learn something new because I'm actually enjoying going through the quick starter guide. I'm just now scratching the surface of Langchain, but let's see how far I can go. I will create the video as I go forward. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.